are diving into GitHub Copilot, an AI coding assistant now available for free in VS Code. I'll share my hands-on experience and tips on making the most of its features. Let's see what Copilot can really do. First, let's break down the available pricing tiers. Free tier for VS Code users, including up to 2000 code completions per month. Access to basic AI chat assistance. Standard suggestion limits designed for individual developer use. Pro plan, $10 per month. Unlimited access to GitHub Copilot features. Free for verified students, teachers and maintainers of popular open source projects. Business plan, $19 per user per month. Ideal for teams offering collaboration features and increased limits. Advanced security and compliance tools. Enterprise plan, $39 per user per month. Tailored for organizations needing custom models, enhanced security and more. With the free tier now available for VS Code, it's the perfect time to try it out. Getting started is super simple. Open VS Code, navigate to the extensions view, search for GitHub Copilot, click install and authenticate using your GitHub account. Once authenticated, you are ready to go. Let's put the Copilot to the test. Let's start with a simple example. I'm creating a Python file. Watch what happens as I type a basic calculation function. Calculate. Copilot is already suggesting the written statement. Let's accept that. Pretty neat, right? But now, let's try something more complex. Imagine we need to calculate order totals for an e-commerce site. I'll start typing. Look at this. Copilot suggests a complete function with a loop structure, handling calculations for each item. It's like it read my mind, but let's push it further by adding error handling. Here's a pro tip. Press command plus I on Mac to open the inline chat. Let's ask it to add error handling for empty item lists and invalid price. And voila, Copilot provides meaningful validations, not just generic try-catch blocks. Now let's explore the chat interface on the right. It has these powerful commands. For example, I can type slash for example, I can type slash tests to generate a test file. Look at this. It creates test cases automatically. Just a quick tip. Save the file immediately and double check the name. In one instance, it named the file import unit test.py, which caused issues. Here's how to fix that. Sometimes copilot suggestions aren't perfect, and that's okay. When I ran the tests, I encountered an error. Here's what I did. Copied the error message and pasted it directly into the chat. Unlike Copilot, Cursor lets you do this directly in the chat interface for faster debugging. Pasted it into the Copilot chat. Watch how it analyzes the error and provides a detailed solution. Much better. Here's my favorite part. The Copilot chat interface, it's divided into two tabs. Ask Copilot tab. This acts like a coding buddy. You can ask it to explain parts of your code or assist with debugging. Edit tab. This preview feature shows suggested changes before you apply them. It's super handy when you want more control. Another amazing feature of Copilot chat is the ability to select different LLM models. For example, you can switch between GPT-4 and Claude directly within the interface based on your preference. But here's where Cursor AI takes it a step further. Cursor offers even more options when it comes to model selection, including variations like Claude 3 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus and others. This versatility allows you to choose models tailored for specific tasks or performance needs, giving you finer control over your coding assistant. But wait, it gets even cooler. 
You can also use audio prompts to ask co-pilot questions, which is huge time saver. Just hit the microphone icon and speak your prompt. Unfortunately, Cursor AI doesn't currently offer this audio functionality, making making co-pilot stand out even more for hands-free coding assistance. After comparing GitHub Copilot with Cursor AI, I found they each bring unique strengths to the table. Cursor AI offers excellent chat assistance, robust refactoring tools, and solid code completion capabilities. Seamless VS Code integration, intuitive interface, and impressive suggestions tailored to coding workflows. Both tools have their merits, and your choice will depend on your specific needs and preferences. I hope this walkthrough helps you get started with GitHub Copilot. Remember, always review the suggested code. It's AI powered, but you are still in developer in charge. Let me know in the comments if you have discovered any cool Copilot features I didn't cover. Thanks for watching.